this workshop was about uh, trying to look at the impact of labor market regulations and institutions on uh, labor market outcomes. And it turns out that this is a rather difficult thing to do because uh, labor market regulations, when they change, they, when labor policies are liberalized, or uh, to, they happen at the same time as many other changes in the economy, whether it's an economic crisis that leads, uh, leads policymakers to do that, or it's uh, a growth spurt, or something, something is happening. So it's very difficult to dissociate what is due to the labor market uh, regulations themselves versus what is due to other things that are going on in the economy. So a lot of the effort of researchers in these papers is to work on this identification problem of trying to come up with the causal impact of a change in rules on what's happening to things like formalization, uh, how formal the jobs are, uh, to whether people get social insurance or not, to whether uh, the employment and unemployment dynamics, people losing jobs, gaining jobs, etc. Uh, we actually, so the, the research findings indicated that yes, uh, labor market regulations uh, do affect these outcomes. Uh, the effects that we measure are, are not very large, uh, which kind of suggests that uh, you have to act about things that are happening within the labor market itself, but the labor market uh, also is affected by many things that happen well beyond the labor market. So what happens in terms of economic policies that encourage firms to, uh, to start up, that uh, help firms grow, that, uh, that determine whether firms go out of business or don't go out of business. Uh, the business climate, so to speak, is very important in determining uh, the derived demand for labor, which is what uh, labor market outcomes tend, tend to be.